everyone, in this Inside Kairos video tutorial, we are going to show how Kairos as a platform supports the transition to live IP workflows, and in doing so supports the move towards true remote production. Nevertheless, many applications require mixed signals from SDI to IP at the same time. Let's discover with Helge, our Kairos product specialist, how to mix and match SDI and IP signals in practice. Helge, let's see how Kairos deal with mix and match concept on the input side. I'll do that. So going to my tab from the setup area, going into the input settings. And here we can see for each and every input where I determine um, what is the input signal uh, I'm using for that input. Is it from the 2110 world? So is it an IP signal coming typically over the switch? Um, or is it an SDI signal coming from an external breakout module? Um, I can have up to eight of those modules connected. So when I click on this, I can make my selection one out of eight. And let's say module number one, and then there's a maximum of those modules with, let's say, a single HDMI or a single display port or even four BNC connectors. And I just pick on which BNC connector from that module is it. And this is how I would determine uh, what is the input format. I can also say I want to use an NDI, like what I did um, down here in that section, input number 12. And once I'm selecting an NDI stream uh, as an input, then I can look at the drop down menu over here and see what NDI streams are available in the network and just pick a la carte. Um, the source I'm looking at, um, or even though saying I want to have a stream signal, uh, and the stream signal I can then pick from RTP, SRT, RTMP, or RTSP. All clear about inputs, and what about the output side? Outputs are pretty much the same, actually, um, just about the numbers. So it's a 16 on my outputs. Out, I determine is it 2110 IP, or is it an SDI? Once it's SDI, what is the module? Um, which module I'm talking to? Uh, what is the output spigot on that one? And the same is true also for NDIs or for a stream output. So down here on my output number 40, I determined that this output 40 I provide as an, as an NDI stream. And I call the stream web. So I just give it an artificial name. Uh, and output number 16, I also determined this is a stream output. We um, also can send, let's say, for an instance, RTP and make my multi-viewer vis visible over the network. Also this, I can change RTP, SRT, RTMP, and even RTSP. Thank you very much, and see you in the next episode. Thank you.